Angelina Jolie's new Les Venture mixes high-end fashion, art and food. Actress Angelina Jolie's new fashion venture is open for business inside a historic two-story building on the Lower East Side once owned by Andy Warhol and famously occupied by street art pioneer Jean-Michel Basquiat. Cutting the ribbon in December, Atelier Jolie is part high-end retail boutique and part art space, built on its website as a place for creative people to collaborate with a skilled and diverse family of expert tailors. Pattern makers and artisans from around the world, in a letter penned by the Oscar-winning actress. It also has a cafe, opened in partnership with Eat Offbeat, an organization that hires from local refugee communities to prepare regional fare from Syria, Sri Lanka, Venezuela and Senegal. The cafe serves up a wide assortment of dishes highlighting global foodways, including chicken yassa and katarika curry bowls and a variety of fair trade coffees and teas. It's even taking orders on Grubhub. The retail floor is staffed in part by current students and graduates of Parsons School of Design. Shoppers, who can visit by appointment only, will find items in a range of price points, from a $495 jacket with a trio of interchangeable collars to a silk A-line skirt at $195, according to Harper's Bazaar. Also available are $15 plain white t-shirts meant to be customized in store with a variety of add-on paints, screen prints and patches. Proceeds from the sales of the patches go to charitable causes as well as the artists who created them, the outlet said. Jolie admitted that she'll probably lose money, maybe even for a while, on her store in a December interview with WSJ magazine. If I can eventually put into practice some things that I think are improvements and I just break even, that's a huge victory, she said. Before the girl interrupted, Star, 48, took over. The graffiti-covered building at 57 Great Jones Street was listed for lease with Meridian Capital Group for an eye-watering $60,000 a month. However, it wasn't immediately clear how much the actress is paying to rent the space, who reportedly signed an eight-year term. That's what we can report. Thank you for watching this news. Don't forget to help this news office channel. By liking comments, sharing and subscribing. We thank you for your support.